Hey everybody, Steve Adams from New England Sauce here. In this build video on our 660, we're going to go ahead and uh, perform our leak down test. So in order to do that, um, we're going to install the decomp valve, and then we're going to use these special uh, special tools just for sealing off the exhaust and the intake. We're going to pull a vacuum and make sure that the case is airtight. So very first thing, we'll just throw the decomp in. This is another part that we recommend um, replacing to make your saw more reliable. So this is an OEM one. And um, we're going to go ahead and put that in and torque it real quick. Okay, then we're going to throw in um, our spark plug so that it seals. And they've been really good about giving us uh, NGK spark plugs in the kits now. So that's a big improvement over what was in there before. You don't have to torque it down right now, you can just tighten it with a scrunch just so it seals. Then we're going to throw this uh, collar on. This goes back here for the intake. Just slides down all the way to the bottom. And now we're going to put on this special tool. So this is an intake block off plate. Essentially what you do is it slides down where the carburetor would go. This piece at the bottom, this little screw, goes into the impulse tube right here. And you slide it on, and then you can pull vacuum in the case through this port. And it's a really simple little part. The steel sells them. Um, we can also get them for you if you want one. Okay, so you just put that down, and then grab the two um, nuts that you'd use for holding the air filter support on. They just go right in here. You can just use them for this stage. And just run these down so it's tight. Okay, so now that's nice and tight. We're gonna this is all ready. We're going to seal off the exhaust side. So um, you can grab these little rubber pieces from steel. You can make yourself a little piece of tapered rubber. But essentially all you're trying to do is seal off that, that exhaust port so there's no air coming through. What I usually do is I'll just grab the two exhaust bolts. I made this little piece of metal with the right hole pattern. And if you just put this up, get these started. And then run them down. You can seal off the exhaust port. So what you want to do is, as you tighten these, you want to just pull this guy down a little bit, so you know he's blocking off the full port. Tighten him up. Not super tight, nothing crazy, and I just go in and make sure they're snugged up so no air can leak past there. Okay, so now in theory, as long as there's no other leaks anywhere, we've got our exhaust sealed up, the top sealed up, the two sides by these C seals are sealed and the only opening we have left now is here and I'm going to grab my vacuum tester you can get these at AutoZone or online whatever you want basically it's got a little tube pulls vacuum and your case should not leak like that so let's have a look see if we got, got a good leak here Let me test okay. 
make sure your decomp's not pushed down. So theoretically, if we did a good job, should be able to pump this up to 15 inches of mercury. And if it doesn't go down below 8 inches of mercury in 20 seconds, then we're okay. I'm just going to make sure this hose is on nice. So this one's okay. Sometimes I'll get them where they don't move. You can see now that that's not really moving. So this one would pass. And uh, we can just rotate and make sure there's nothing else going on here. You can hear when you push the decomp that it changes it. This will be fine. So if you don't have good results at this stage, if it's like dropping very quickly, then you can start, you know, trying to investigate essentially where the leak is. Um, the only real places it can leak from are the decomp valve, the spark plug, the cylinder to case gasket, and then the intake boot, um, and then the two C seals here. So if like you rolled a C seal when you were installing it or something like that, it you would not um, would not give you a good result here on the leak down test. So this one's fine. We're gonna go ahead and proceed with that. It passes per the shop manual, so we're good. And um, if you need to, you can buy one of these gauges that does vacuum and pressure, and you can pressure pressurize the case, and then spray like soapy water with like a little bit of Dawn dish soap in there, and you should see where the leak is coming from. That usually gives you a good sign. So that's it. That's leak test, and then we'll go ahead and take those temporary tools off, and um, that's it. That's all there is to doing a leak down test. So we'll take this intake one out, save these nuts for later. I guess I should mention it's important to do this step because if you don't and you have a leak, it can essentially let make the saw run lean without without enough gas and oil mixture because there will be air getting in after the carburetor and that can destroy your saw in seconds if you have that condition. So that's why it's important to do this. Okay, so now we're ready for the next step, which is from here it's pretty easy. Just bolt on the muffler, put on the flywheel, and we'll continue.